Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Tyler Parker coming to you today with a Q&A. All right, let's get this started, man. First question, where do you see yourself in three years? Um, in three years, I see myself very successful in a big house, you know. <laughs> and I see myself starring in a couple of movies, you know. And a huge model, a huge model. What do you see yourself doing in 10 years? 10 years, I see myself owning a lot of property, owning a lot of businesses, um, being a host of a lot of events, having my face everywhere on billboards, everything, you know, being the face of brands, companies, you know, people are like, oh my gosh, Tyler Parker here, Tyler Parker, you know, that's being very, very big, you know. What motivates you to keep going when you feel like giving up? Um, my little sisters, most importantly, and my supporters, you know, because I do it for myself, you know, and I do it for my sisters, though. And that's what they really made me get on my grind, you know, and just do everything I wanted to do. So I could see them happy because, you know, when I see them down, it hurts me, you know, so I got to keep going and keep going. I got to be because if I, don't, if I don't have it, they don't have it. So I got to have it. And that's what motivates me. Do you like Ann? Do As in the official Ann? Okay, the official Ann. Everyone keeps asking me that. No, me and Ann are just good friends. <laughs> Very good friends. How did you get where you are today? Um, never quitting. Staying prayed up, keeping God first, you know, and that's how I got to where I am today. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. Will you ever move to Atlanta? What man? I moved to Atlanta this year, man. Come on, move to the A, man. Are you I'm a barber? Am I am I a barber? Um, yes. Why well, I'm a repeating the question. I don't know, but yeah, I'm a barber slash model. What's your belief, and where are you from? Um, I'm from Hammond, Louisiana. Um, my beliefs. I believe in God, but I'm not a Christian. What is your favorite color? Favorite color red, man. Smooth, not playing. <laughs> but my favorite color red. What made you start modeling, and do you see yourself modeling for a long period of time? Um, I, what made me start? Um, I don't know. I always wanted to model. Like I always go on websites and stuff, and I see models. Like this was in high school, you know. Now. Like, man, I really want to model. I feel like I could be be that person. You know, that's that's what made me start modeling. But I always wanted to model when I was younger too. But yes, I see myself modeling for a long period of time. What are you? What are your top three goals? Um, my top three goals: put my family in a better situation, you know, so they won't have to worry about anything. Making sure my kids don't grow up how I grew up, you know, they have a better life than I had. You know. And last, being able to live my life, saying I did everything I wanted to do, and I had no regrets. I didn't live my life listening to this person, that person, you know, them telling me to do this and that, and I did what I wanted to do. Who do you look up to the most? And if you don't look up to anyone, when was your biggest I feel like I'm running shit moment? Nobody, I'm playing. Nah, I don't look up to nobody though. I don't have a role model either. But my biggest I'm running shit moment was last year, man. Last year, I was on top of everything. Tyler P. this, Tyler P. that. Do you cut your own hair? What? Man, yeah, I couldn't go on and have my man. man. That's what I'm saying, man. You know, I did this, I did all that. How long was it before you found out that she was your brother? How did you feel about finding out he was gay? And do you get mad when people think you're gay? Um, me and she found out we were brothers like four or five years ago, I'm not sure. But, um, when I found out he was gay, I was like, alright. I mean, cause I don't care about nobody being gay. I have a gay family. Have friends that are gay, you know, like my homegirl, she gave me, you know. And if somebody gay, they gay. And no, I wasn't mad. But um, and when when people think I'm gay, they used to make me mad, you know. But man, people gonna think what they want to think at the end of the day, so I really don't care. You know? really Are you gay or bisexual? Neither. I'm straight. I love my women. Come on now. When did you first start cutting hair? And what was the, the inspiration behind it? Um, uh, the first time I actually cut my hair, I was five. I put a patch in my head. But I've, I've been cutting hair for six years. I just was like, um, I used to ask my mom to pay for me to get haircuts. And 
and I also didn't like the haircut she was making me get. So I just, like I always had because like I have a long line of family members that are barbers, you know. So I just went to the bathroom one day, I cut my hair then. That's how everything got started. What kind of guys would you date? What? <laughs> None, I don't like dudes. <laughs> what are you mixed with? I'm um, black. I'm an African American. Nah, I ain't even African American. I'm black. I'm a Moor. Yeah, research that. What do you do to keep your skin so healthy? Alright, I get asked this question daily. I'm about to tell y'all what I do. I'm gonna drop my phone. Look, I drink water. I follow an alkaline diet. I eat healthy. You know, I don't put nothing on my skin. None of that. Eat healthy. Follow an alkaline diet. You know, drink water. Alkaline water, that's what I mean by alkaline diet. You know, the food and shit, but. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I sit on your face? <laughs> sure, come on. Financially wise, how do you prepare to pay for barber school? How did you build your clientele? Um. Uh... Thank God for social media. You know, that's how I built my clientele. That's how I got to got to where I am today. Social media. Social media is how I built it. You know, like social media is a powerful tool. I want everyone to like, man, start promoting yourself, promoting your brand, man. Cause social media is where it's at. You know, social media, word of mouth goes, you know. But in Louisiana, I didn't go to barber school. Everybody asked me that, you know. I didn't go to barber school. In in Louisiana, there's this well, apprenticeship program is everywhere. But in Louisiana, you could cut hair while in the shop, you know, but you attend classes every now and again. It's, you start off at like $500, but you pay this fee like every month, you know, for insurance. So you're technically a barber already, but after two years, you get your license. When did you realize you were going to model? Um, been modeling, seriously, since last year. Last year in September, I knew I was going to model for it, for it. That's what I really wanted to do, and I went for it. When are you coming to see me, fucker? <laughs> I know exactly who asked that. Man, I'm coming out there this week. But I'm coming this week. And the last question is, what do all your tattoos stand for? Oh, man. Okay. An alpha jacket, he comes. Man. Let's see. All right, we're gonna start with the sleeve first. <laughs> All right, down here I have two koi fish, one facing down, one facing up. In the Japanese culture, you know you have to get them, you know, facing like that. Well, you don't have to, but in my story, I have them face that way. But the one facing down on me, I'm still going through hardships. I'm very determined, and I don't let anything get in my way. You know? But the one flowing up the river shows that I overcame a lot, I did a lot, and I'm very successful, you know, I'm very determined, you know, they, they have some similarities, you know, but what else, I said determined, I'm courageous, and I'm ambitious, and I got, you know, flowers to fill it in, you know, on my spaces, elbow tattoo, but this tattoo right here, oh, uh, in a live hand, I got a skeleton hand, you know, someone dead, someone's alive. But this is my hand, this is my grandfather's hand. And the day he died, we was in the hospital and I made a promise to him that everything I was gonna do was gonna be for him and I was gonna be great and I wouldn't be a bum. And in Japanese culture, like this is a Japanese thing, sleeve by the way, but in Japanese culture, if you break a pinky promise, you get your pinky cut off, you know? So that's why I got it. And I got the sun to fill in in the back because whenever I'm down, you know, I'll look at this tattoo and I know better days are coming. So Keep your head up. And right here, this is loyalty over money. That's something I live and go by. And it was supposed to be six symbols, but I wanted to be different. I actually got like the division bar for, you know, this loyalty over money. And that's this sleeve. And over here, I got LOM, you know, in the shield. And hold on for the table what the shield is about first. It's under my skin. Like, you see the skin real 
but it's on them to let you know that I'm unbreakable. You know, you can't stop me. I get scarred up and everything. I'm still gonna remain strong. You know? And I got the scorpion. Because I'm a Scorpio and also for victory over adversity. I've been placed in harsh environments in my life and I still overcame it. And that's what that's for. And down here I got an American, Af not African American, and Native American thing sleeve for my great grandmother. That's what she was. And I got the elephant for how smart she was and her wisdom. And I got the bear and the cub because she was my best friend, also my mother too. She looked out for me. She let anything happen to me. And everything else filled in. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I got a shark, a wolf, and a swan. I'm gonna take the shirt off. I have a shark and a wolf and a swarm and all, all three of these. I have a shark, wolf and a swarm. The sh I'm gonna tell you the story about all three of these creatures first then how it relates to me. All three of these animals, they're judged. You know, people look at them differently without getting to know them. And that's how it is with me. People judge me without getting to know me. So that's why I got these, like for the shark. It's, it's also oh, it's short. It lets me know I'm a protector and I'm only violent when I'm provoked. You know, because sharks, everybody be like, oh, sharks are dangerous, they kill people. Now, sharks are very friendly if you didn't know. You know, they only kill when they're provoked and people mess with them and stuff. And I got the swan because it's a beautiful animal in a harsh environment. You know, and that's how it was in my life. And lastly, for the wolf, the wolf is because, I don't know why I'm trying to look at it, I'm sure. But the wolf is because uh, I'm a lone wolf, I'm an alpha, you know, and wolves are judged badly too. Wolves are killers, this, this, and that. And wolves are friendly as well, they're not how they seem in movies. And like, like I said, all of these correlate in my life. I'm not the person you see on social media. People be like, oh, I'm cocky, arrogant, this and that, you know, but they never had a conversation with me. They never met me, you know, they just judge me off of looks. And that's the same thing, you know, they're judged off of looks. And I got a food dog on my stomach because I'm very determined. Like I said, my core fish, I don't let anything get in my way. And that's the meaning of the food dog. You don't let anything stop me from getting you. And I got a phoenix over here because it was all, uh, it's a long story with the phoenix, but the dirty bird, they overcame everything and became victorious. So that's why I got the phoenix. All right. And on my back, I got Grandpa John, man, who I got this tattoo for. And Uncle Mike over here, my great grandmother in the middle, and I have Anubis. The reason, all right, I'm gonna tell you all of you. Anubis, all right, Anubis is the god of the dead. And when you, it, it, the tattoo means different, different, it has different meanings when you place it in different places. The reason I got it on my back is because all my dead will be looking over me now. That's why these, these tattoos connect. I have someone watching over me, protecting me, and my days go by, and I'm living through their blessings. That's why I got a new tatted on the lower part of my back. And I'm not finished with my tats. I have to get my cousin over here, and I'm getting everything tatted. But, let me sit down. But yeah, it's your boy Tyler P. You know, that's it in my Q&A, but I'm out, and, oh, subscribe. You two gonna be my link. Alright. Right up to the scar down cows, eh? What's that type of music? Saucy. Yeah. You know what it's that? It's that like the Cuban cigar on the rape music. No excuse.